Alright, we got some uh, 5 pounds of fortified mullet, finger mullet, about 6, 7 inch. I'm gonna give them to the 1800 gallon. Let's see how they feel about it. They're usually very enthusiastic. It goes real quickly. Yep, everybody's getting excited. Not everybody, but the smart guys, the greedy guys, all the perch and the bass. Okay, guys, settle down. Chinese wells just got one, that's good. It's always my concern that he eats well. Le leaves everybody else alone. Dorado as usual. It's gonna be the last to feed out of all these guys. a thick scald fish. So right there by the rock. There you go. Two of them. The last one, see? Everybody who really wanted, everybody out of all this fish, all different kinds. The rod is the last one. blister is not going away. It will never go away I guess until I change the flow in the tank to the opposite. Right now the flow is clockwise so the rod oak swims counterclockwise and rubs the right hand side. I need to change it to the flow to counterclockwise so that the rod oak swims clockwise and uses its uh, intact barbell on the left hand side, right here, like that. That's how I want it to swim, in that direction. To accomplish that, I really need probably to I need to move those four power heads from this side to that side, but this side is curved, that's the problem. This is flat and this is curved. So I'm not really sure what can I do, maybe I'll only set them on the bottom. Set the four head power head on the bottom. To change the direction of the flow. Because that's the only water flowing. Those two pipes are pushing it very strongly forward. And these four power heads are making it go round. Because they're, they're lopsided. They're on the left hand side of the tank. So that was, that's what creates the counterclockwise current in this tank. Which makes the rado swim clockwise and keep rubbing. See, he's rubbing it all the time. Bump, bump, bump. 
Bob. Bob. That's how he rubs that blister. Never lets it heal. It relies on barbells to gauge the distance to the walls. No barbell on that side. Just have to bump bump into the wall to make sure you're by the wall. Swimming laps. The vultures are by the way are healing well. Yeah, you're a little guy. You don't get enough to eat. The tarp one is slowly healing as well. It's gonna take a little more time. Gotta be patient. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to go get some more. Let me go get some more and we'll continue. One and a half more pounds. These I'm gonna throw near, not far, like the first batch. Okay, people are snatching. Two, three, four, five, six. There's about six or more still laying around. That's good. Is there any more laying around there? By the rocks? No, just one. Okay, five more. Door is taking its sweet time. Everybody is getting them. But Dorado is going to take its long time. Yep, take it in the mouth, swim around with it, maybe lose it, or somebody will rip it out. Because why not? Look like a cotton mouth snake viper with the mouth open. I don't know what that gar is doing. Trying to strike those mullet is way off target. That's bizarre. What you doing? What's wrong with you? Go straight and grab them. There you go. Are you collecting scales? Are you a piece of ore now? Okay. This is this is the fattest gar in this tank. Look at his lower part, both front and back. Real thick. They're all doing pretty well. This one is also pretty thick. That's one eyed. Also pretty thick. And that's the uh, gar from, from Forest. The spotted gar, our only spotted gar. Mm -hmm. Looks good too. 
It's got some mass on him too now, finally. Nice rounded bottom, head to tail. Okay, there is one more fish over there by the rocks, and one more right here. So we're gonna let him work on it. And stop around here, I guess. Bala shark, it keeps healing and then it, its fins get tethered again. I don't understand what's happening, why. Dora's getting a nice belly too. And there's some, some, something still in her stomach, still in its stomach over there. That last mullet would not even fit, it didn't even try. The mouth is still full. Yeah, there's one more right there. <laughs> Two mullet are laying around, waiting for their takers. I'm sure they will be taken sooner or later. Tiger Shovel Nose is doing well. As you can see, he's all healed up. All the fins are intact. The stomach disappeared. I don't know what it's thinking. It doesn't, it's not eating anything. I'm hoping it will come around and learn to take the mullet. All the pellets are both. All right. What else we have in here? Little dovey eye female is doing okay. Chinese whales got the one on the back wall. Okay, you, can barely, you can barely see him. I can barely see him. He doesn't look like we have a big stutter. So maybe just one. I really wanted it to take two. Maybe it'll come out and snatch that last one. This one was already gone. Somebody took it. Alright. Thank you for watching as always.